Hello and thanks for joining us. Uh, you join us in the next couple of days as we're going to be paddling the River Glass and the River Burley. So uh, joining me on this trip is my good friend Fred. Um, <laughs> we haven't got uh, no Indy this time. Uh, there's not a lot of space in the boat and uh, we've got a few rapids uh, and he's not keen on rapids. That doubled up with the fact that we went walking in the hills uh, being a typical Springer Spaniel went a bit crazy and he's got a bit of a limp as well so it wouldn't be good for him. This route probably about 25 kilometers in total. We're starting off on the river glass and we've got some grade, uh, grade 1 approaching grade 2 rapids to go down there and we're going to be stopping off halfway uh, having an overnight and a little bit of a camp and then tomorrow morning the river glass will turn into the Burley and we're going to continue down the Burley. Uh, there should be a nice little gorge uh, on the way for us to take in a nice bit of scenery which is quite nice, quite unusual and uh, yeah, so stick around and uh, hopefully you enjoy the video <laughs> Right on my legs Goes around to the right. <laughs> so we were just paddling along then and we spotted some sand martins on the bank on the right hand side. So we just pulled over for a little while to try and get some shots of them. Um, they get buzzing over our head, but yeah, very really nice to see. Sand martins are incredible little birds and extremely agile flyers. Found nesting on sandy riverbanks where they feed on insects, mostly on the wing. But what I find most incredible is their yearly migration, thousands of miles as far as Africa. Pretty amazing for something that weighs about the same as six Pringles. This is how the other half live. Must be nice to get paddled around everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <mate. laughs> this section here is really pretty, isn't it? It's nice the hills and so flat with the reflections and gorse. It's nice. Fred was right, but then Fred is rarely wrong. It was time to lay back, let go of our worries and absorb into nature because that's what it's all about. Looking up at the clouds, San Martins above us meant we were approaching another colony. I pondered about their epic journey and how exhausting it must be. Feeling lethargic from this, we continued to drift on a little longer. Besides, the weather had turned out for the better and it felt rude to disturb the water. We peacefully flowed past and admired their sandy burrows being reflected on the water and watched them come and go as they busied themselves gracefully about their day.
sociable little creatures, they nest in colonies. And incredibly, their nests, which are lined with vegetation, can be up to three miles deep. Or was it feet? Either way, quite impressive, I think. The next part of the river was slow flowing, and the day was slipping away now. Look on the map. A quick check of the map, just to confirm we'd reached our campsite. Yeah, it is. This is it. This is it. This is Island One. What do you reckon? Look great, does it? <laughs> the island's ground wasn't the flattest for a tent, but we decided to pull up and have a look. Pull up and have a look? Yeah, we'll pull, definitely pull up and have a look. Mm. What do we reckon? After a quick inspection, we decided to camp on the farthest side of the island. And so we paddled around to make the most of what we had. Just.
remind us, wasn't it? Pasta, salmon, mushroom. And onions. And tomato. And garlic. Very grateful for Fred cooking dinner, we sat down to relax by the fire. Smoke is there. Uh, done it, found us. Found us. <laughs> Never get away. These clothes will stink like it for the rest of the yeah. trip. I don't mind that. It's yeah, it smells, it smells better than probably yeah, the inside of the clothes. The sky was overcast, except for a small section just above the slightly snow-capped mountains and we watched as they appeared almost on fire. Yeah, they pan out. Yeah. <laughs> no pun intended. intended. Right, it's all charged up on coffee. We've had some uh, breakfast, courtesy of Fred, cooked us some pancakes this morning. Uh, we're all packed down, uh, left no trace as always, and we're just about to head off uh, downstream on the River Burley. And there's a nice little paddle coming up for a gorge, so that should be quite scenic and quite nice. So, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. All right, here we go again. Looking forward to this bit. There's a little bit of a grey and miserable day today, but um, eagles, osprey, pine martin, otters, uh, mink, all known to uh, visit these waters, so uh, if we're lucky, you never know. Right, so we're just going past this uh, little island. It's got a mansion on it, uh, which is owned by a Canadian millionaire. And then as we pass this, uh, up here on the left-hand side, we'll start to enter the gorge. Wow, this is incredible. The, uh, the size of the gorge is a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be. It's so peaceful here as well.
I love the way it's just hanging off it, you know, just clinging onto that rock. Amazing. Wow, so that's pretty special. Um, we're pretty much back at our um, egress point now, so I'll say goodbye. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, yeah, I've got a few things coming up in the future. I've got a charity canoe event, Unlock Shield coming up. Um, I'll give you some more information about that later. But I'm gonna do a small giveaway for that as well. Uh, you know, for a, a kind of charity slash raffle giveaway to try and raise a bit of money uh, for cancer research. Um, but yeah tell you a little bit more about that later and I'll put a link below as well if you want to start donating already but um, yeah until the next time I will um, see you later So we arrived at our egress point um, and we've just seen this sign at the end of it actually asks you not to paddle the gorge uh, between March and August the 15th and um, obviously we was unaware of this and we got in upstream a good 26 kilometers at this point um, unfortunately not everybody's respectful to nature and although me and Fred did pass through the canyon um, and the gorge very quietly you know just drifted down really peacefully and um, we know not to disturb wildlife but not everybody abides by those rules They'll fly drones past nests and try to get too close to wildlife and make noise. And unfortunately, we do all get tired of the same brush. Um, so I do ask if you are going to do this, uh, this paddle on this route, please do so outside of those dates. You know, end of August, you've still got some really nice weather. And, uh, you know, in September onwards, you know, when it gets to autumn, you've got all the lovely colours and it would make this paddle even more spectacular anyway. So, um, yeah, so as always, you know, do be mindful of nature, respect it. 
and uh, be courteous.